When the Apostle Paul wrote to the Romans, he clearly stated our condition. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. When we see the rise of Finney in the 1820s and 1830s, Finney is coming where the church of, in America is still largely Calvinistic. And one of the most painful things that you see coming out of Finney's revivals is because he's preaching a man-centered theology, the idea that God is sovereign over all things is lost. You couldn't have any greater contrast between two men on this subject than Charles Finney and Jonathan Edwards. Jonathan Edwards emphatically preached predestination and man's complete dependence on God's sovereignty. If life fades us from this earth on August 16, 1875, the legacy of Charles Finney has shaped the ideology of Finney, and his theology greatly influences modern day evangelism. It's really difficult in our day to grasp the historical significance of what changed with Charles Finney. And so the altar call, it starts as the anxious bench, and it, it starts with the idea of, of bringing people to a place where they can be counted, bringing people to a place where you can look at them and say, look how successful I am. A popular modern day technique to call souls to accept Jesus is the altar call. Although not the inventor of this technique, Charles Finney popularized it through his emphasis on the seasonal salvation evangelism. There is an emotional component to the gospel, but the difference is that the gospel is driven by the God, Word of God being preached and the conviction of sin by the Holy Spirit. It's not driven by a person's emotions. The revival is a thoroughly biblical idea. Revival occurs through the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit brings revival and only the Holy Spirit. It cannot be something that man works up. Simply put, a revival is a miracle. Methods do matter. Actions have consequences. Which is why we must be careful to see that our life is lived in accordance to God's law. They had completely opposite views. Everyone has presuppositions. The question is, are they biblical? Finney really represented a completely different way of evangelism and discipleship. Did Christ's death on the cross actually accomplish something, or did it just create an opportunity for something to possibly be accomplished later? The Bible is the God-inspired, man-written, divine word, and our presuppositions must begin here.